Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of The Shadow of War. All right, when we left off, you may recognize Naruk. <laughs> uh, I, we came to Gorgoroth because it's the next uh, conquest we can do. And you may recognize Naruk because he's actually from Minas Morgul, or Minas Ethel originally. Um... I was grinding out a couple quests that had the uh, gold coin rewards because I figure if they're available, might as well do them to eventually, you know, get some chests that are actually worthwhile. I actually got a uh, Mithril uh, legendary weapons and items chest, and that actually helped me <laughs> quite a bit. But uh, I was in Minas Morgul for a couple of them. I came to Gorgoroth to complete another one and have it set up so that way I can do the uh, siege like I said I would for this episode. And uh, Noruk followed me. That's now the third time <laughs> someone from Minas Morgul or uh, Kirith Ungol has followed me. <laughs> it's a little odd to me that that's happened multiple times um one of the other ones that had followed me out of uh Mitnaz Morgul uh well we had Kirith Ungol first follow me into Minas Morgul and apparently that spread cause Ronk the Unkillable I think either followed me to Nurnin or Kirith Ungol. I'm not entirely sure. I remember it followed me to one of the ones I controlled. It's about all I remember. <laughs> uh, no. Looks like it might not be here. Nope. Was not here. Okay. So, that narrows it down. It had to be to, it had to have been to Kirith Ungol. I didn't quite remember off the top of my head. <laughs> and here's here we are and it's good army should be here eventually there we go um huh reach out the screamer nope I can't find him all right that's weird I know he followed me somewhere he followed me somewhere. That's all I remember. <laughs> anyway. Well. <laughs> now that that's said and done, let's go back here. I uh, learned the identities of everyone. Everyone in the uh, Uruk army over here. Even the uh, overlord himself, Hawk the Dam. And uh, we're going to slowly... Well, slowly level Noruk up, as well as slowly make our way through these guys to either kill them or have them join us. And then we're going to assault the fortress proper in the same way that I said I was going to. I'm not going to take out any of these war chiefs. I'm going to do it just with the guys I have on the ground here. I might bring in a couple from the garrison, but that's the only thing I'm going to do. I'm not going to take these guys out. I'm going to just assault them just with the Uruks I have here. And, uh, here's hoping things don't go wrong. <laughs> Alright, so, now that I've put all of that out there, now... Let's, uh, go finish up that one mission. Where was that for our guy? Ah, he's over here. All right. Uh, oh, and that reminds me. These have not been done either. Forgot about that. <laughs> I should probably do that. All right, um, let's get moving, shall we? Oh, there. 
Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, that's always fun. Alright. Well, definitely wouldn't be able to cross that way. Huh. Would I... Be able... No, it doesn't look like it. There we go. Nice. Um... Yeah, I wouldn't be able to cross over here either. Shit, I gotta go a long way around. Uh... Any... Anyone I can just steal Karagor from? Anyone at all? No? Damn it. Okay, well... Take you! There we go. Up we go. So there's got to be a lot of these around, doesn't there? All right. Oop. Okay, time to run. Run away now. Okay. That was not part of the plan. <laughs> I was trying to take that guy, but I uh, didn't get fast enough to do that. All right, take you. There we go. And just a little bit further now. There we go. There we go. There we go. Damn it. Almost. Almost got him. Gotcha. Okay. Shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Die already. Jeez. All right. Let's get moving. Whee! Alright. Okay, come on now, Talion. I know you can move faster than that. Jeez. Alright. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> there we go. Okay, up we go. Up these things. Whoop, jeez. Okay. Alright. That almost went badly. Alright, cool. Whoop. Alright, up we go. Up we go. And... Almost the Bricks? Bricks? Okay. <laughs> I... I don't know even how you're not to say that. But yeah, I wasn't expecting a brick texture there. That's a little odd. Alright, um... Get down here. Yep. Artifact. Uh... Yep, I figured that would be another one. Uh... Sealed in. Alright. Uh... Come on. Where is it? Oh, that's right there. Another Gondorian artifact. Oh, oh, oh. Barrows. There we go. And. Well. Whoa. Oh, hey. That's a big maybe. There's one. And maybe last one. There we go. Did it. Beautiful. Alright. Now that we've done that, our guy's mission is over here. Let's head over there and get that done, huh? And let's check out Chaka the Prankster. Terrified of burning, fear of poison. Mm. Hail of bolts. Raged by acrobatics and blood brother. Hmm. Let's check out his blood brother. It's Tuka the Molten, if I remember reading that right. There he is. Tuka the Molten is not too strong. Raged by cowards, arrow proof. Eh. He's 
he's up there. He's up there in strength. Hmm. Maybe we'll look into that. But uh, for now, let's go help our boy. There we go. Perfect. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Hey, buddy. I just killed the rest of your party. <laughs> you thought you had a chance. That's cute. Okay. Let's get moving. And... Up we go. Up we go. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. He's trying to slither away in the bushes. Yeah, how did you know that? I mean, you could easily see me. That's how he knew that. Let's be honest here. What the? Oh. That's what's going on. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. Let's see how this plays out. I'm gonna drink some of my coffee while this loads. Two of them are clipped into each other. Lights out and get ready. Hey! What? Oh, he's getting out of here. I've been itching to kill you for days. Now I can finally scratch that itch. This is gonna be so satisfying. Well. Well. <laughs> now he's having a fight on two fronts here. Maybe I can deal with Gibu. Gubu, rather. The pinch. He's not altogether that strong. So. He's enraged by weakness and vigilant against stealth, but... That's about all his strengths there. Alright. Uh, let's... Let's see if we can... Uh, Where can we go to do... Oh! His, uh, little gang is already gone. <laughs> was trying to... Oh! <laughs> was trying to proc his fear of brutality and, uh, didn't have a chance to. And Naruk finished his hunt before that became a problem. Oop. Oh, geez. Ow. That hurt. Hi there! It's a nice blade. I could kill loads of men folk with it, pretty thing. Or, uh, I won't let you? Oh, geez. Oh, boy. And there's that. Yep. That was something. Okay. What the? What? What the? Where did he come from? Ur Eden the Torturer. Okay, he's mortally sickly. There's a fear of fire. Huh. And he's enraged by ghouls. Sorry about that. I had to pause to get more coffee. <laughs> ah, I was starting to be really sleepy. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to have to deal with him. Um, that mortally sickly is not great, but... Uh, We'll see if, uh... Eh, we'll see if he survives during this whole thing. Okay, he's still enraged over the ghouls, though. Oh, he's a vault breaker? That, I didn't know. That makes sense. Oh, jeez! okay. And he's retreating. Okay, well, yeah, I'm not gonna let you retreat, bud. Okay. Nice try. And, whoops, that didn't work out. <laughs> what was his stuff? Terrified of spiders, beast fodder, fear of brutality. Um, yeah, he's not all that strong. I'm just going to kill him, if anything. Yeah, about that. Still going to try. There we go. And, oh, fuck. Dude. 
You um, have that nightmare where you die over and over and over again. Um, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Sheesh. Ah, uh, this guy is actually not bad, though. He just has a fear of poison. We could probably train that out of him. He's terrified of burning, if anything. Huh. Acrobatics and blood Oh, yeah, he was the guy with Tuka. Ah, oh, fuck. Usually. Yeah, I do. That part you're kind of not wrong about. But, you. We're definitely not going to survive this fight. Uh, a lot of training, but... Oh! That had to hurt. Okay, fuck. Okay, well... You are right next to something I can blow up, bud. That was not a good idea on your part. Okay. And get you? Really? That didn't actually work. That was stupid. That was stupid, gang. That was really stupid. Didn't even let me hit him with stealth attack. I hit the button. The fuck was that? That was stupid. Oh boy. Alright. Kill you. Ooh, you did. This doesn't mean you win. I win. By getting away. No, you don't. No, you fucking don't. That is not how this works. Buddy. And goodbye. Told ya. You weren't gonna survive that. You were not gonna survive that. Okay. And I think... He's still running around like an idiot. <laughs> it's fucking great. Just couldn't manage to get around the fucking geography. That's amazing. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can kill him off. And... Maybe. I'd love to stay and die. But I have places to be and humans to murder. Do you now? Oh! Trickiest game. Not bad. Not bad, my guy. You've at least ensured it'll take longer to kill you. <laughs> okay. Well. Since, uh, you managed to do all that killing, I have high hopes that this is actually going to be an easy easy takedown. <laughs> so, I took the blood brother down a peg, but Tuka is the one I'm really interested in. So, maybe. Actually, now I think about it, if I kill the blood brother later in a fight, whether it be uh, on purpose or not, he's going to betray me. So, probably better if we get that out of the way now, if anything. Hmm. That's Kuka Scorcher. What is this guy about? It's a 33. He's intimidated by Ishma's trophy maker. Alright, well, there's that. Uh, vulnerable to execution, beast fodder. He's got a lot of class traits here. He's actually pretty well set on class traits. And he's a berserker, which means he has not as many uh, hates as he should. But I mean... Enraged by mortal wounds, acrobatics, cowards... He's got some of the bases covered, at least. He might be a good pick. Although I'm slightly annoyed that most of the ones I end up thinking are good 
are the ones that are one guys wearing shields. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Uh, I can't. Like I said, I needed to get more coffee, which I should be drinking right now. All right. Ah. Uh, so. I'll leave him alone for the moment. I'll go after Kuka. While I get that Ethilden. in. Yeah. That'll work. That'll work just fine. Oh boy. <laughs> this looks perilous on multiple... Multiple levels. <laughs> Okay. Oh, hi there, buddy. I'm gonna kill you. Hey, shut the hell up. There we go. Also, a Gondorian artifact. Yeah, let's pick it up. Oh, there's only nine here. The Analex of Ruvenir is a collection of advice from a long ago Gondorian swordsman. Hey! It includes a series of exercises he guaranteed would lead to triumph in every duel. Like all young Gondorian soldiers, I studied the Analex a great deal, and mm -hmm. I learned two key things. One, Ruvenir's swordsmanship was undoubtedly better than his penmanship. <laughs> and two, in Ruvenir's time, duelists were far more courteous than the orcs of Mordor. War ignores such niceties. That is true. That is very true. But, uh... Yeah, it's, it's a good... It's good to know the basics at the very least. <laughs> and that comment about penmanship being uh, worse than his fighting prowess is probably true too. <laughs> From what I'm seeing right now, it does not look good. <laughs> it's, it's not great. Assuming, of course, that he wrote them himself. It's entirely possible he had someone write them down for him. <laughs> Which would be even greater, because he picked someone not good at it. A treatise on fine swordsmanship. All too rare in these times. Oh. Such grace is lost on the denizens of Mordor. That is true. Oops. Is quite the side. You yeah. waiting round for trinkets. You'll uh -huh. be something, aren't you? Well, I wasn't doing just that. Ooh, you're pretty strong. Suka Throat Slasher, huh? A loyal bodyguard, but you've only come out just to hunt me. Hmm. And you don't have that many hates. You actually have no hates whatsoever. You do have some immunities. And you get dazed when shot in the head. Huh. I gotta change something real quick. I meant to put this in while I'm uh, collecting Uruks. <laughs> it's better to have extra levels on there. Oh, fuck off. Okay. Oop, let's kill this one here. There we go. Let's knock you around a bit since we have the ability to. Good. Good shit. And there we are. Good stuff. And he's finished with his days, which is fine. Because I'm about to capture his ass. And let's see how those go after I convert him to my side. I hate this bug, honestly. I serve the bright lord. Oh, do ya? All right, let's see. Nothing really changed. Nothing really changed. Only found at his master's side. Well, that'll help me in the invasion, but I'm not gonna have him kill him. Huh? Still. Will you now? Yeah, he has. <laughs> yes, he has. 
Alright, let's go over to that Ethelden. Like I said I was going to. Okay, let's deal with the main threats. And we're good. Hey there. <laughs> you didn't even take a weapon out. You did that with your fists, you dink. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's try and find some arrows, shall we? I ended up running out during that whole debacle earlier. There we go. And here we are. Come on. Damn it. Okay. There we go. Might as well finish them all off. There we are. Goodbye. <laughs> You're just standing around, not doing anything. This is a goofy bug. And wait for it. Now that's all refilled up. There we go. Goodbye. And let's get this. Ah, uh, uh, there we go. Alrighty. Don't know what that means, but we got it. Now, since we're already down here, Kuga's over here. Let's go after him. Oh, he's upwards. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? Oh, no, he's not. Alright, Ishmael's trophy maker, vulnerable to execution, beast fodder. Okay. That is exploitable. There we are. Goodbye. There we are. Goodbye. He's gonna run. Well, how could you? And there we go. That. He set himself on fire. What an idiot. Fuck you. You dumbass. Alright. Let's slowly make our way over. That is a totem I'll eventually destroy. Fuck you, buddy. Alright. And he... Yeah, didn't have any... He's fireproof, so blowing this up won't help. Just vulnerable to execution and beast fodder. That's about it. Okay, that helped. I was hoping I'd get a chance to do that. Alright! I got payback for sneaky ranger traits. Do you now? Because I'm waiting on it. Whoa! I didn't expect that to kill him. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Oops. That wasn't supposed to kill him. <laughs> I was supposed to get him down to the tiniest sliver of health. Oh no. Oopsie doodle. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, well. That's done anyway. It's done and there's nothing I can do to fix it now. Well, since I'm here, might as well fucking deal with this outpost. Alright, up we go. Go and... Oh, what's the name of this place? Run my crush. Run my crush. Okay, that's fair. Also, this guy looks pretty cool. Skak the Royal. Let's look at his stats, shall we? Flammable and beast fodder, huh? He's enraged by execution, so I guess I won't be able to do that. And he's poison proof. Hmm. He's got a decent set of skills here. Marauder marksman, huh? Let's, uh... Let us see how he does. Alright. See how quickly and quietly you can find yourself all alone. Yeah, about that. And he's killed from stealth. There's that. 
Okay. Okay, fuck you. Alright, there's that. Get. There we go, got you. There's that. Jeez. Come on. I just want a couple more kills, that's all I want. What the fuck was that? Weird hitch. Damn it, I wanted to get that guy. Shit. Okay. There we go, another aerial. And that finishes that. Beautiful. So quick. How do you even enjoy it? I will show you how to properly stretch out a kill. Will you now? Well, that might be a good idea. Learn from you a little bit. Oh. Well, maybe that'll reach him. Yes, it will. <laughs> Hi there, bud. I'm going to ambush you a little bit there. Oh, that was good. <laughs> yes. suffering will be sweet delight. You say so, huh? If you say so. <laughs> Ow. Okay, let's take out the rest of these guys, just so I'm not dealing with constant barrage of bullshit in the process of taking this guy. Okay. There we go. He almost died. It was lucky that I managed to catch that. All right. Good. Well, thank you for doing that. And he lost flammable. Beautiful. Beautiful. He didn't gain an immunity to it, but he lost it as a weakness. That is good. That is just fine. Let's command you to do something, shall we? Let's see if you'll help me take out one of these motherfuckers. Naruk Manbreaker, huh? Maybe... This would be a good idea for you. He's a destroyer. Raged by Graug's immune execution, but he is a soft target and you are a marksman. Hmm. That's an idea. I'll have you kill him. To level you up a little bit. There we go. Was recruited. Beautiful. And he gained five levels from that, too. Well, that was mainly from the jewel gem that I have. Alright, beautiful. Alright, I'm going to end the episode here for right now because we're a little bit over time. <laughs> <laughs> per the usual. And, uh, yeah, I gotta work today. So, I need to make sure I get this edited and cut down as much as necessary. So, yeah. See you in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and beating the shit out of Gorgoroth Uruks and taking a bit of them to use in the fight against the fortress later for you.